Hi, welcome back to another edition of Carpenter Shop, where we're taking the time to think about and grow up just a little bit in the carpenter shop, where Jesus did. What we're really trying to do is put some understanding, some context, and maybe some application to this thing called faith. I want to read you a verse out of Scripture. It says this, Psalm 119, 18 says, Open my eyes, that I may see wondrous things from your law. Modern dictionaries, if you take the time to read them, and I know all of you do, uh, make a general distinction between seeing and perceiving. Seeing is more of the physical act uh, of noting, detecting, or laying eyes on it. Perceiving takes this to a whole different level. It's not just seeing and detecting something with the eyes, but it is a comprehending. Everyone with a set of eyes can see, but it takes more than physical sight to perceive and to apply what you're seeing into life. The same can be true for reading God's Word. There are a lot of things that we can look at and see, but the real struggle for all of us is to take them and apply them. Knowledge is one thing, and there's nothing wrong with knowledge. But knowledge without application is just knowing stuff. Our Savior didn't come so you could just know stuff. Now, He wants you to know about Him. He wants you to know stuff. He wants you to know His Word. But not so you can come back with the answers on a test, because there isn't really one. But instead, so you can take the information that's there and apply it to your life so it will change your life in the here and now. Jesus said the phrase, let all who have ears to hear, let them hear. It's important. And so learn to make sure that as you spend time in God's Word, which is really important, that you not only see it, but you perceive it and do something with it. And if you do, you'll be fleshing out your life in real time and making an impact in the world around you. I'll join you again next time. We'll do a little bit more growing here in the carpenter shop.